Hey, Miguel, how are you? How are teacher? Very good, you? Pretty good. Tell me, what did you do today? today? It's good. I had a, I, I worked, I got some activities done. Uh, always a lot of projects. How about you? Well, actually, I am, uh, I am taking a, a some uh, course, course from my job. Oh. Uh, it's a, uh, a workness inspector course. So I, I have to read all day, all day long. <laughs> a lot of reading. A lot of reading, yes. Okay. Okay. And what is I have a dog. I'm sorry, we I interrupt you, but I have a dog uh, about the platform. Okay, tell about me. The platform. Yes, yes. Uh, there's a, some, uh, uh, I don't know how to say, discussion. Uh, some an item that discussion, for example, is a, a, it's a square. Uh, below the uh, the the description of the 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 uh, exercise, but uh, I don't know if the discussion we we are how we are, we have to complete that discussion or if I if, if I don't complete this this discussion, uh, uh, I will have a problem with that. No, you have to you have to go through all of the activities, but if you put in the discussion, if you are unable to complete, it's okay. You can still continue. It's no problem. Uh, but, but, but don't know. It's, uh, it's not mandatory to complete the discussion. Uh, discussion uh, procedure. There is the space that no, it's not. It's not mandatory. Oh. Or it's there for you to oh. practice your writing. Mm -hmm. Ah, perfect. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. And Gabi, Gabriela, how are you? Hello. Fine. And what did you do today, Gabriela? <laughs> um, only a study. The other course. What other course? Uh, marketing. Only and the other course is like is from the university, is from Pepade, in support. Is in support. In support. Okay. Yeah. You like it? Yes, I like it. That's good. It's good that you're enjoying it. And how long have you been studying marketing? Uh, <clears throat> my career is about it. I I I study communication and my, what do you say, a specialization? Specialization? So, eso, uh huh. <laughs> is, no, eso, I don't say eso. I say. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not know. listening to you, but. Uh huh, Gabby, go ahead. You can do it. Uh, what do you say? A specialization. A specialization. Okay. Is marketing. All right. And is digital marketing, uh, mass media marketing, uh, online? What what kind of marketing? Uh, both. And the traditional marketing. What what types of? The traditional marketing is uh, uh, buy or, or sell the service or, or whatever things. Uh -huh, but but it, for example, is, is telemarketing, is public relations, is... is tele, telemarketing. Uh, telemarketing. Yeah. Okay. okay. And do you like it? Yes, yes. But it is is new is new topic by by my career. Okay. Oh, yes. that's good. That's good then. Thank you. Mm, you're welcome. 
All right, so I see we have several people here. Now we can begin. We can start with our topics that we were looking at yesterday. Um, we've, we've seen a couple of things like indirect questions and also for count and non-count. Let's review from indirect questions. Who remembers indirect questions from yesterday? Oui. It's some nobody. Nobody remembers indirect question. Yeah, I mean, for example, uh, when you ask a question uh, uh, kindly, for example, would you tell me where is the uh, parking lot, for example? This question. Okay, exactly. So very good. You remember a little bit from yesterday. We have three forms to ask indirect questions, okay? Let me share my screen so that we can remember a little bit more. We have indirect questions with could you, indirect questions with do you know, indirect questions with can you tell me? So we have the three, could you tell me, do you know, and can you tell me? Remember, if it has a verb to be, the verb to be, the verb to be goes at the end, right? If, in a WH question, if it has do or does, do or does disappear. This is the most important, okay? Now we have the other ones, okay? Here we have, for example, yes, no, right? Do you, or WH, do you know what time the bank opens, right? We use the expression, do you know? All we do is use the expression and then the question, but we don't repeat again the auxiliary. It's okay? We remember a little bit? Okay, so what are we gonna do? We are going to go from here with your partners. You are going to answer these five questions these five questions. This is from 2.8. From 2.8, okay. We are going to watch, in order to answer it, you need to watch the video from 2.7 to answer these questions here, you see? So right now we are going to listen and take note. What questions do we need? Based on the listening activity from the video of 2.7, answer the following questions. Could you tell me where the nearest ATM is? Um, how often do the buses run? What other information does Eric ask for? And then of course, these we only put into indirect questions. And the WH word is to the past form. Let's try here, I think that was Great. Good. And can you tell me how often the buses run? Okay. It's about a city or a new place that you might visit. For example, you'll be able to make the following questions. Could you tell me where the bank is? Do you know where the nearest ATM is? Do you know where the restrooms are? Can you tell me how often the buses run? Do you know where I can catch the bus? Before I begin to explain the grammar involved, what I would like to do is I would like to play an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. And so what we're going to do at this point is we're going to listen to a conversation and we're going to listen to different questions that are asked about a city. Your task is to listen carefully and I will ask you questions at the end of the audio program. Excuse me, could you tell me where the nearest ATM is? There's one upstairs, across from the duty-free shop. Great. And do you know where I can catch a bus to the city? Sure. Just follow the signs for transportation. Okay. And can you tell me how often they run? They run every 20 minutes or so. Excuse me. It's me again. I'm sorry. I need some more information, if you don't mind. Do you know how much the bus costs? It's $20. You can buy a ticket on the bus. $20? Wow. 
Well, a taxi costs about fifty dollars. Hmm. Okay. And do you know where a bookstore is? I'd like to get a guidebook. Go upstairs and turn right. You'll see one on your left. Thanks very much. Have a nice day. You too. Let me present some structure at this time. So now that we heard that, now with your partners, you're going to use what you remember from the listening and answer these questions with your partners. This is from 2.8. If you need to, you can go back with your partner and listen again. Okay, but in this moment with your partner, 2.8. Any questions? No. Okay, perfect. Hello, teacher. Hello, Carlos. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, I, I have a problem. I, I stay in a lot of traffic, uh, too much traffic. <laughs> and I'm driving in this moment. Uh, and I can hear very well. I, can, I, I don't listen. Hello? Go ahead, Carlos. Yes. Ohenia, join the group. Okay. No, no escucho. Bien. Okay. Unite cuando llegues a casa. Cuando llegues a casa, unite. Okay. 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 Oh, okay. Para, para mientras voy a estar escuchando, si se entiende. <laughs> sí, sí, sí. Okay. Bajal. Okay. Right. Go ahead, Carlos. You need to join the group then, Carlos. There you go.
Karen. Hello. Okay, guys, let's try. What was number one? The first option. And number one. Okay. The first. Okay, what about number two? Second. Second, Second one. Second. Number three? Third. 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 Number four? The one. The first. Okay. Number five? The last. The last. Okay. Very good. As you can see, is correct. All of these. Okay. And the number three, the last one. Number two, the second one. Number one, the first one. Easy, right? One, one, two, two, three, three. Woo! Que así fuera el examen, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any questions about indirect uh, questions? How to make them? No, it's okay. No, it's clear. Eh, oh. Se lo voy ¿Qué? a decir en español. Decirlo en español. A mí no me queda muy claro en qué momento va a ir el, el R o el I de último y en qué momento puede ser como una pregunta normal. Ok, déjame ver si te entendí bien primero. En el call, you tell me, por ejemplo, where is the bank o, o where the bank is. O sea, Correct. no sé en qué momento. Where the bien. bank is. Va a ir al final. Pero, pero, por ejemplo, creo que ayer había unos, unos, unos ejemplos que iban, al, o sea, después de where iba el, el to be. Ah, sí, ya te entendí. Perfecto. Ya en sé. el ejemplo, de, can you tell me if you are starting? ¿Qué cambió la posición del to be? Sí, entonces tiene que ser con la pregunta original. Es más fácil pensarlo en esa forma. Si la pregunta original no lleva... WH, o sea, no es una pregunta con what, where, when, entonces el verb to be no va a ir al final. Por ejemplo, yes, no question. Yes, no question, exacto. Ok. Por ejemplo, are you studying? Solo hay dos respuestas. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Entonces, en este caso, vamos a usar could you, la misma forma, could you tell me, y voy a poner la palabra if. If you are studying. Ok. Esa es la diferencia. Cuando es un WH, por ejemplo, vamos a mantener el mismo tema. What? Y solo le voy a agregar la palabra what. What are you studying? Ok. Y lo cambio. Igual cambio ese para... Indirect question. Voy a usar el mismo para que no nos confundamos. Voy a usar el mismo introducción. Could you tell me? Ok. Could you tell me what you... Déjame ver. What you are... Sorry. Ok. Yeah. Va el to be al final porque aquí hay un WH. Y en el otro sí no va al final porque no hay ningún WH, sino que está el if. Ok. So, Así. No, entonces, a ver, are you studying? Could you tell me if you are studying? What are you studying? Could you tell me what you are studying? Porque los dos llevan con ING. Ok. Esa es la idea. Si tenemos, eh, ok. Todos los de descripción. Vamos a, a regresar para que podamos ver un poco más. Ahí es donde vamos a tener con Could you tell me what you are studying? Could you tell me if you are happy? Todo eso lo, son de indirect. ¿Por qué? Porque indirect simplemente es las palabras con What we want to do in this tell class. Me, do you know? And, y, uh, can you tell me? Que son los tres lo que usamos comúnmente. Ok. Ahora, si yo pongo una pregunta, aquí estamos viendo. Si sí, yo digo, por ejemplo, where, where is multiplaza? Okay. 
Could you tell okay. me where Plaza is? Correct. Could you tell me where Multiplaza is? Correct. Where Multiplaza is. Y ahí vamos a ir al final. Prof. Entonces, ¿cuál es el truco o cuál es la idea? Si estamos viendo verbos o acciones, ponemos el verbo to be en medio. Fíjense, en las cosas de lugares, ubicaciones, lo vamos a poner al final. Por ejemplo, lugar, no una acción. Entonces vamos a poner, tell me where multiplaza is. Ya, yeah. 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 Profe, y en caso de, de, de que hablemos de algún lugar, podemos usar también el from, ¿verdad? Digamos, digamos from here, de, de aquí, ¿verdad? Digamos, yeah. yo quiero decir, could you tell me where is the, the nearest bus station from here? Más o menos, sí, 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 sí es la idea. Could you, pero va a ser, could you tell me where the near bus station uh, eh, What, where is the nearest bus station? Y ya con eso es suficiente. Uh -huh. Porque en el momento que vos decís, nearest, ya se entiende que o sea, ya es de aquí, porque estás diciendo el más cerca. Sin decir from here. Sin decir from here. Sin decir from here. Porque, de, porque decir from here es incorrecto, ¿verdad? Sí, esa es la parte que es incorrecta, porque ya estás hablando el más cerca. Obviamente el más cerca de aquí. ¿Dónde está el... el, el se entiende que uh -huh. es el lugar, ¿verdad? Lo único, que Mason, es, Mason. lo único que tiene que usar from es si es otro lugar. Si yo te digo, ah, ¿qué es el? Where is the nearest bus station from San Vicente? Porque no estoy yo en San, San Vicente, estoy en San Salvador. San Salvador. Mm. Pero si ya estoy aquí, no tengo que repetirlo. Ah, ok. Thank you. Welcome. Karen, no sé si eso te ayudó un poco mejor a entender. Sí, 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 teacher. Ok, entonces, acuérdense, si son acciones o actividades, pongan el verbo to be antes. Si son lugares, ubicaciones o algo, pónganlo al final. Ok. Ok. All right. ¿Alguien más? ¿Any other questions? Okay. All right, then let's read unit three. Eso significa que hoy, miércoles, ya hemos finalizado la lección dos. O sea que este fin de semana, los que todavía no han estado al día, ya deben de haber completado la unidad uno y dos, que es la que terminamos hoy este día. Y hoy vamos a empezar la unidad tres. Nuevamente, antes de empezar la unidad tres, ¿Alguien tiene pregunta de la plataforma, de los temas o algún ejercicio? Profe, sí. una pregunta. ¿Cuál es la contraseña para entrar a la, a, a la plataforma? No sé. Cada, eh, eh, contraseña. ¿Qué? Cada quien tiene una. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Pero yo uso 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. No sé si a todos la misma. Yes, please. Yes, it's the same for everyone. Entonces, yes. ¿Cuál, cuál, profe? Yes, One, the same. two, three, four, five. Okay. It's okay, Miguel? Uh, no, my question is that uh, there's a song, some uh, recording exercise to complete the lesson uh, because uh, there's no, uh, there, there's no, the, The link to to see that that uh, conversation to hear that conversation sorry so what 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 can I do for that because uh it tell me uh, some message that the URL is not available for this uh, I have a problem with this only the the second uh, recording what what hear. number what exercise what number, Miguel yes what number is uh. Uh, section number three. Yes, letter G. Letter G. Dex, the, the, the meter. Letter G is the same problem with me. Okay. Section three. Uh, but I can't, I can't read the, I can read, listen, yes, but read, no. 
I think that we are going to get there uh, uh, with you, teacher. So we're going to, uh, to wait for that. No, I, no, don't don't wait. I I don't understand what what recording. It's the meter. It's the meter. meter. Okay. For example, okay. I try to. I I'm going to to wait, one moment. to share, Yancy, share my, in the WhatsApp. Yancy. Yancy. Share in the WhatsApp. Yancy. Okay. Yancy. Yes. Okay. Tomale captura de pantalla que está diciendo um, que no lo puedes ver o o, o no sé qué pasó en in tu compu, está diciendo que en la gente no puedes ver, ¿verdad? La, la, uh, yes, but this, this yes, but um, is um, is audio in the okay, ah, eh. audio. No, 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 es audio en read. Yes, no, 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 este está, ya estuvo, ya estuvo. Letter G, section letter. three. This is letter G. It's section three. Section. Okay. Hey, what happened? Yes, read and comprehension. Yes, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is, no. Entonces, ¿cuál es la que okay. decís que no te um, Okay. Okay. And, uh, 3.8. 3.8. Ah, yes, 3.8. 3.8. Okay, hang on. Yes. No yes. problem. No problem. I forgot, yes. A, right? Three, four, le, no. La, eight. A, no. number eight. Number, number, number. Number eight, okay. Let me go to 3.8. And then we've solved the problem, okay? Mm -hmm. Five, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, okay. I, yes, sorry, the, yes, it's the same. I have a problem with this. Making changes. No, Part this A. This is correct, but the, the other is a read. The read and listen. Uh -huh. The instruction, in the instruction. Yes. And the instructions, yes. Read and listen. Yes. Only listen, but read. Uh -huh. Only Why listen. Why can I read? No, no reading, only listen. No, read and listen. Read is only a... Listen. Con el listen solo puedo contestar la uno y la dos, but the read is that not the writing the following yes. sentence using which. Uh -huh. Teacher, as you can see, as you can see in the, the um, next to the recording is, is a message from Google. Sí, 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 por eso, pero es lo que le estoy explicando a Yancy. Ok. Solo están dejándose llevar por el mensaje porque el mensaje... No lo necesitan para desarrollar el ejercicio. No, uh -huh. I think that, I think that, that. Only the listening and it's enough. Oh, okay. Yeah, but yeah. Where, where, where the Google message is, I yes. think that they uh, probably uh, should be, should, there yeah. should be another recording. No. Because okay. uh, if, if you scroll down, there's the, the test and, and the test asks you, what the uh, some good girls say, and you can in the in the recording the, the right side is not uh, that it's uh, the, that recording is talking about Jerry only. Or yes, Terry. it's, it's about, a, it's about the lesson. Yes, it's about the lesson. O sea, no tiene nada que ver con el, the listen. Okay. Yes. See. I wish. I wish. Yes, I wish. Teacher, uh, lo que trato de decirles es que so, que I still listen with your parents. I think it's on the part of the other, the one that you can hear, that asks the question of Terry, and there's a message from Google that no, 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 you can't see the scroll, the URL. There should be another recording because the question he asks le pregunta de, de esa grabación, entonces no, no, no puede contestarla uno porque no, no he escuchado, puedo escuchar la grabación. Ok. Porque no está ahí, o sea, parece como que no está, el link no sirve. No, no, no pusieron el... Okay. ¿Me entiende? Sí, 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 te entiendo. Espérame, aquí. Ok. I'm afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's ok, but my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they'd stop worrying about me. Yeah. Parents are like that. And they expect me to help around the house. I hate housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So why don't you move out? Hey, I wish I could, but where else can I get free room and board? 
Okay. It's, okay. it's only for the one in the it's two, only for the one. three is other, other, the other things. Uh -huh. It's only for Using number... which? It's only Laura for doesn't... the first exercise. Yes, yes. It's only Laura for doesn't. But not for number two. What kind of wishes does Brian have? Okay. Yes. No problem. I will, no. I will, I will put it and I explain to in the office what is the problem. Okay. Any other no, thank you, teacher. Huh? Okay. Any other questions or any other problems in the platform? No. No. Okay. One moment. Okay. Ahorita lo estoy poniendo para que un solo quede. Y este, okay. Vaya. Ya lo reporté. ¿Al, ¿Alguna otra eh, problema o consulta? No. Eh, no. Me dice, eh, bueno, en español lo voy a decir. Sí. No, ahí no hay problema en ese. Ya, ya me di cuenta en el 3.8. Lo que sucede es que en el, la clase donde se explica el WISH, nosotros tenemos que escoger lo que Laura desear, desearía uh -huh. conseguir un nuevo trabajo, maybe. Solo la 1 y la 2 sí van de acuerdo al listen, pero las otras son de acuerdo a la clase que ya nos han explicado. I wish, deseo conseguir un nuevo trabajo, something like that. Yes. Sí, 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 yo sé que ahí solo es de, no necesitan el la, número 3 y 4, no necesitan nada más que simplemente leer cuál es la forma correcta. Yes. Yes, ok. Thank you. Any other questions or, or problems in the platform? Okay, then let's continue with our unit three. Today, let's begin with unit three. Here we have lesson objective. Who would like to read? Please, Daniel. Boil your English language skill with this lesson on adjective and nouns. By the end of this class, you will learn how to spread your opinion about houses and apartments. Additionally, you will, uh, you will be able to describe your house or apartment in English and use evaluating phrasal as, apartments are too small for pets, houses are too expensive, or houses cost too much money. Okay, good. So now we're going to go ahead and learn a little bit about describing. Uh, I imagine here, and everybody lives in a house? Does anyone yes. live in an apartment? No, in a house. In a house? Yes. In a house. Okay, okay. In a house. Okay, good, very good. All right, because El Salvador is different than other countries. In other countries, the apartments are less expensive than the houses. Mm -hmm. But in El Salvador, the apartments are more expensive than the houses. It's very strange, but this is the in El Salvador is, is different the, the the ideas. So today we're going to learn about adjectives and noun to describe them. So here, remember, adjectives are the things that we say for apartments or house, how they look, what we see, and we have different ways to describe. For example, we use the subject, the house, the apartment, or in general, the verb to be, uh, uh, we use are or aren't, the adjective, and then we can have, when this moment we're going to watch a small video about comparing. Hi everyone, by the end of this class you will be able to give your opinion about houses and apartments. Additionally, you will be able to evaluate your own house and apartment. For example, you'll be able to make the following statements. Apartments are too small for pets, but houses are too expensive. Houses cost too much money. 
Before I talk about the grammar involved in this particular class, what I would like to do now is I would like to play an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. We will listen to a few people talk about their opinions on houses and apartments. Your task is to listen carefully and answer a couple of questions that I'll have for you at the end of the audio program. Apartments are too small for pets. Apartments aren't big enough for families. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Apartments have just as many expenses as houses. Apartments don't have as many rooms as houses. Houses aren't as safe as apartments. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Houses cost too much money. Houses don't have enough closet space. Houses don't have as much privacy as apartments. Let me present some structure now. The first thing that I would like to do is to show you how to make evaluation. Okay. So as you can hear, here are the sentences that we hear. Apartments aren't, houses are. This is how we can compare or describe different things, okay? When we compare, we need to use as, as, as. If we do not compare, only we describe, only we use adjectives, okay? So say, as, as is to compare. We compare with it. That's when we use as. If we only describe, only we need adjectives. So for example, the houses in El Salvador or the apartments, okay? So in El Salvador, apartments are too expensive. Only expensive. I, exactly. Only I use the idea is only for adjective. Okay. Now, if I compare, okay, I need to use as, okay, or to, or we need to use um, another word with as and as, okay? So apartments, for example, I put in the chat again, apartments aren't, okay? As cheap as houses. Do you understand how we use as? It's okay or no? Yes. Hey. Any questions? I, I, huh? Yes, no, todo bien. <laughs> Otro ejemplo, teacher. Okay, excellent. Gracias por mencionarlo. All right. Okay. So, tenemos muchas formas de comparar. Una de las formas, una de las formas que usamos es as, as. As, as significa igual. Igual, uno que en el otro. Entonces, nuestras palabras son lo que cambian, que dicen que no son igual. Por ejemplo, tenemos apartments, Como estamos ahí en el chat, apartments aren't as cheap as houses. Si yo tengo solo as, as, entonces vamos a significar que las cosas son iguales. Pero como yo puse, en vez de, puse una palabra negativa, el aren't significa que no son iguales. O sea, no son tan baratas como, ok? This is as, as. For example, hang on. Let me give you an example. Okay. Okay. Apartment. Okay. Okay. En ese link, en ese link que les mandé a los que necesitan un poco más de práctica viendo as as o quieren hacer un ejercicio el cual vamos a hacer en este momento con nuestro compañero vamos a hacer el número uno y 
el que está ahí, del, del ejercicio que aparecen ahí, y vamos a hacer el número dos, ¿ok? Bueno, el número uno simplemente es seleccionar, y el número dos es describir. Y vamos a practicar uno un poco más para estar seguro que nos quede bien el as, as y cómo usar adjetivos. ¿okay? ¿Ingresamos? ¿Ingresamos ahí? No, no, todavía no. En, oh. Con el compañero para que vayan juntos con el compañero o compañera. Pero primero vamos a repasar. As, as es como, como iguales. Cuando usamos los adjetivos es ah, que son o no son lo mismo. Entonces yo digo, por ejemplo... Eh, Fátima en Carla. Fátima is as tall as Carla. Significa que las dos son la misma estatura. Pero si yo digo Fátima isn't as tall as Carla, es que los dos no son igual, que el Fátima no es igual a Carla. Okay. In this moment, we're going to practice exercise one and two. ¿Todos pudieron recibir el link? ¿Todos tienen el link? Sí, teacher. Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, let's practice because I know that en vez de pasar 10 minutos viendo ese video, es más práctico si hacemos los ejercicios y vemos cómo lo aplicamos, okay? So, okay. let's go with our partners. We are going to use number one and two, exercise number one and two. Eugenia, Karen, Laura, Carlos. Carlos, ¿todavía seguís manejando? Okay, Carl. Okay. That way you could go to the groups. Hi, mister. I'm alone. <laughs> ah, no se unió Carlos. Okay. Let me help you. Yeah, let's see.
valuations using additives. Okay, it's okay now. Is any questions? No. Okay, good. Now we also have that is for as as, which is a way to say the same. We also have, for example, the word enough. Okay, that was for the as as now we have enough so here we can see example apartments aren't big enough for families or our apartments aren't spacious enough for families okay or comfortable you can use any adjective you want this means is not is not sufficient when you say aren't enough is not sufficient So if we read the examples here, houses, uh, apartments have uh, just as much or just as many rooms as houses. This is the same, no problem, it's the same, equal. But when you use aren't enough, it's not equal, okay? So we use a lot of the adjectives with enough or two or just. With our partners, now we're going to go to 3.2 and we are going to select which one is the correct one, which is the correct way to say for the apartments. Okay, you ready? Yes. Ready. Yes. Excellent, all right. Let's do it. Only a few minutes. Let's go. Oh, wait. Let me make one more time. <laughs> Cecilia, you have any problems? Cecilia, no? Okay.
Okay, let's try. What was number one? The first one. The first one, okay, good. Profe, una pregunta. Sí. ¿Verdad que siempre tiene que ir, con esa tiene que ir el verbo to be, verdad? ¿Con cuál? Con as, as to as. No, no, no siempre tiene que ir el verbo to be. Puedes ir. Porque cual... mire, yo, yo hice, yo hice una, hice una oración, ¿verdad? Imaginariamente. Ok. Entonces dice, the situation is not as easy as you thinking. La I... situación no es, no es fácil como, no, no es tan fácil como tú piensas. Ajá. Uh -huh. It's not as easy as you thinking. Está bien formada. No. Uh, the situation is not as easy as you think. No uh -huh, uh -huh, thinking. Puse no. mal eso. Uh -huh, el thinking está mal porque no es pensando. Es piensas. Uh -huh. As you think. Ajá. Uh Ajá, -huh. uh -huh, ok. Y ya ve que ese no lleva el verbo to be. No, no, eso, no es necesario el verbo to be. Solo es lo, de acuerdo a lo que estás describiendo o diciendo. Uh -huh. Ok. What about number two? What is number two? The third one. The third one. Ok. Number three. The second one. The second one. And the last one, number four? Second one. Second one. Second one, okay. Good, you see, second one, second one, and then the third one and the first one. That's it. It's, all it is is how to describe the different places, okay? So in this moment, that's what we're going to do. With our partner, we're going to describe our opinion for houses, apartments, condos, uh, the things or oh, as an example uh, for me houses are, are no 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 houses are too big for small families houses are too big is better apartments Our apartments are nice for small families okay because the apartment one two bedroom is enough that's it i I like apartments, I like houses. Only this, with your partner, describe houses and apartment and your opinion, your suggestions. It's okay? Yes, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, one more. Hey. Hugo, any problems?
Daniel. Everything okay, Daniel? Ya, yeah, aunque no, eh, no estuve con nadie. No me emparejo con nadie. Pero, um, it's correct, it's correct. Uh, for me, houses are not more expensive, like apartment. Also, the apartment, apartment are more for someone single. It's correct. Es correct. Pero no estoy usando tanto uh, as. Ah, uh, it's okay. It's okay. As is different. As is for houses is the, the same or when you want to say different. For example, houses are, are as expensive as apartments or houses are, aren't as expensive as houses. No es tan caro como Exacto. una casa. Exacto. Ok. ¿En uh, 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 Miguel? Uh -huh. houses, houses aren't quiet as, as, as apartments. Okay? Aren't, aren't as quiet. Aren't as, aren't quiet, as quiet as apartments. Ok. Aren't as quiet. Uh -huh. El adjetivo va a ir después del as. Aren't as y después el adjetivo, big, beautiful, pretty, quiet, tall, okay, and then the other as. Okay. Uh, an example would be my house is as beautiful as your house. Correct. This oh. is correct, Julio. Okay. So we are going to pause there, and then tomorrow we are going to continue practicing and describing houses and apartments, okay? Okay. All right, guys. Okay. Have a good night. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. See Thank you. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bless see you tomorrow. You. <laughs> Bye -bye, <laughs>